You take your hands off the wheel for a few seconds and you might think that's no big deal. But tonight, Courtney Garish has more on a new tool that reveals the consequences of distracted driving. Courtney. Carol, drunk driving is the culprit we all think of first in a crash. But did you know distracted driving can be just as dangerous? In fact, distractions cause about 80% of all car crashes. Wrong way. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. It may look like these East Troy High School students are playing games. A, B, C. And having fun. But serious crashes like these are the reason behind these exercises. If I can help other people not have to go through the suffering, I've done my job. Teacher Barb Church worked with Wisconsin-based Inacor to develop hands-on exercises, teaching teens just what can happen if you're not paying attention when you're on the road. Take the simulated driving game. 16-year-old Zachary McClary drives just fine when he concentrates on just that. Now add these fatal vision drunk goggles. All you can really see is the colors. You can't really see too much of anything else. Next, Zach tries texting and driving. He says it's almost as hard as driving with the goggles. You can't really pay attention to both at the same time. What makes this unique is the use of all kinds of hands-on activities to show kids the dangers of inattentive driving. Take this simple matching game. Really, really hard. 15-year-old Sammy Javoric has to match eight simple shapes while trying to text. It takes her almost 30 seconds. She says it proves how hard it is to do anything while texting, let alone driving. I think it's important that we were showed this because I don't think all people knew that it was as big of a distraction as it really is. So we all know teens aren't the best drivers on the road, but how are adults when it comes to multitasking? No way. I can, I'll have to do this and then do this. Pete Weber is a licensed driving instructor. He agrees to try the match game while talking on a cell phone. Check out what he says to his wife. You're being my distraction talking on the phone while I'm trying to do something here. And it, it's not working out too good. Pete thinks it's an important lesson for all adult drivers. Drivers that, that have experience just, just take for granted the driving task. They kind of drive like, like robots, remote control, and they think they can be distracted. In fact, studies show only about 2% of the population is able to safely multitask while driving. Some people are better drivers than others. We see that every day. Uh, some people are better multitaskers than others. The biggest thing, I guess, is that we have to rely on, uh, on our own abilities. So the next time you grab for your phone or the GPS or even look out the window at the lake, remember, a lesson better learned with a game than in real life.